I'm gonna do a cooking vlog. <laughs> so I purchased this B Love Smackless to see food sauce a month ago. And I haven't made it yet. So today I'm gonna I'm a chef it up, but I have to go to the supermarket and get a couple of ingredients. So everybody makes her sauce with a seafood boil. But I'm not gonna do a seafood boil because seafood is mad expensive. I might get a couple of crab legs if I could, but I don't think I'm gonna do it because like, like I said, seafood is very expensive and my money not that long to be honest. So I can get some shrimp, you know, let me see if we got eggs in here. That's what I came in here for. No, 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 I don't have to get eggs. It's eggs back there. So I don't have to buy eggs, so. I'm going to the supermarket to get some stuff to make my shrimp boil. And um, you guys are coming along with me. So I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna head out. It's kinda late, it's like eight. And I know the fish market closes at nine or like 9.30 or something like that. They stop, they stop, so I gotta hurry up. But I do know they so they serve they sell frozen fish, not frozen fish, but frozen shrimp. So if anything, I'll just grab that and make the shrimp boy with that, which I don't mind. So let me get ready and yeah, see I soon. So I'm here in that supermarket and I already got me some food. So, so the guy who works in the food market, at the, um. What's it called? The fish place, he's a creep. He always trying to hit on me and it's annoying. And I be looking like this, I look like a hot mess. What would you want to hit on somebody that look like this? So let me see if I get my fish. I mean my, um, my shrimp. So I'm in an ethnic food aisle, looking to see if they have pickled ginger. I would think it's here. Egyptian food, Brazil, South Africa, Central America. I don't know what none of that shit means. We need Asian. Let's see. Comb through this aisle with a fine tooth comb to find this stuff. I'll be back. All right, so the pickle ginger was a bus trying to find it in there. And I knew it was. I got, let me put this stuff down because it's heavy. So, hold on. So I got everything I needed out of here but the pickle ginger. So I know there's a Asian cuisine restaurant down here. So I'ma walk to there and see if they'll sell me some pickle ginger because I need the pickle ginger to make the sauce. That's like she said it was essential to the sauce. Like I have everything but that. So hopefully that Asian restaurant down there have it because they make sushi in there. I know that for a fact. So hopefully they're open because I'm walking down here now. I had to stop because the bags were way heavy on one of my hands. So hopefully they'll have it there. And I'll let you guys know if they have it because I really, really need the pickle ginger. So fingers crossed, I get the pickle ginger. All right, so in this big pot, I'm gonna have my potatoes. First, I'm gonna clean them off. So I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna put the same thing in here. Cause chances are my mom won't come home and she gonna wanna try some food. So put all those potatoes in there. Four eggs to boil.
So while this is boiling, I'm going to be making the sauce and, and stuff. So I'll be back. All right, so I'm making the sauce exactly how she makes it. So I got... I got some, I got an onion here. All right, so I'm chop this onion up. So I think that's all onion I'm gonna use. And that's like the bulk of the work right there. <laughs> Alright, be back. Alright, so I'm going to start making the sauce now. I'm excited. So I have this saucepan here. And I'm gonna put it on medium heat. And I'm gonna let the water just evaporate. All right, so to start off, I'm going to melt two sticks of butter, unsalted corn. And they know they, cause you know I'm a bougie bitch. I can't buy no um red corn stuff. <coughs> That's not how it was raised. So I'm gonna let that melt down. That's nice and melty down. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. That's as good as it's gonna get. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna throw in my onion. Let that go at it. Let that zoo with it zoo. Let it zoo with it zoo. And then I'm gonna come back because I gotta watch the video to see like the steps she take. And I also wanna fix the the angle. So hold on. The juice of the pickle ginger too. I don't know if they gave me any juice, but. I 
and that's enough for me. I am making a whole packet though. I still gotta add two more packs of um, I got some She said, add a cup of chicken broth. Let me put a cup and a half of chicken broth. And I'm gonna add my other two sticks of butter. This is a lot of butter, y'all. So I add the uh, other two sticks of butter, and I'm gonna let that melt. So I'm gonna come back to y'all, and I'm gonna um, show y'all the progress. She said put vinegar. So I have apple cider vinegar, and I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put like that much, you know, I'm gonna pour some back. So that much. I got this out of vinegar. You say you can use any vinegar. And then four ounces of Coke. I don't know what four ounces look like. So, I got the Coca Cola. You put that much. So, I put a full cup in here. come to a boil and I'm gonna let that go for about it looks like she let it go for like five minutes so I'll be, I'll be back five minutes from now so I let it boil the mild seasoning pack here and I'm just going to add it all. Definitely lumped up on me. What? Look at that. Ooh. 
Oh shoot. She thick me. She thicky. Wow. Ooh. That shit smell like. Ooh. And now. Ooh. So I'm gonna let this simmer. I think I'm gonna add some more chicken broth because I. Right. So I'm gonna throw a little more chicken broth in there. And then I'm gonna add some a little more coke. I don't wanna OD because it's already full. Alright, there you go. I wanna taste it, but like when I taste it, because I'm gonna do a mukbang with the sauce, with the shrimp. And I want it to be a genuine tasting, but I, I need to see how it tastes. I'm cleaning. But yeah, I'm gonna let this simmer and I'm gonna come back. So I had these corn, potatoes, and eggs boiling. And um, I had that boiling while I made the sauce. So now I'm gonna add the shrimp to it. I don't know how I'm gonna prop y'all up. Oh, all right, so now I'm gonna add the shrimp to this. I'm gonna let the shrimp cook while the sauce is simmering. So I have shrimp. And I'm just gonna throw in here. It's gonna cook quickly. Let the hot water cook it down for a little bit, you know. a little obey on it just for flavor just a little teeny bit because i got the flavor of the the seasoning pack in there so the shrimps look done Done. Everything is just done. I'm gonna let the shrimps cook a little while longer, just to be safe. Let it all come to a boil, and then I'm gonna turn it off. So I'm back. Now I'm gonna plate the sauce with. This is. Uh, I wish. Let me see. No, this is like the same. You know, not a good burger. So I don't have anything big. This is like 
Sauce that I got. Oh, no, it's dripping. All right, so that's my version of the C, the B Love Smackalicious sauce. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe, comment down below video ideas. If you've done all that and you like what you see, make sure you hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. Become part of notification squad, squad up, so you could be notified when I drop a new video. All right, guys. Ooh, I gotta put a lid. Gotta cover up the sauce. So the next video you will see is me eating it and trying it for the first time ever. I'm excited. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. So I followed her directions to the team. Um, and I hope it tastes good, honestly. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, video ideas. And if you've done all that and you're liking what you see, make sure you hit that notification. Damn!